All right, boys and girls. So, I tried TikTok ads for a week, and I gotta say, they're f All right guys, so tons of my subscribers have come from TikTok and a lot of you may share the same opinion as me when I say that TikTok is the next Facebook, it's the next Instagram. It's definitely, it was at least the fastest growing app in the world and I think it's going to continue to be that way. So I got the opportunity to get on kind of on the ground floor of TikTok's advertising platforms, which I'm super grateful of. And I'm basically just going to be making an entire video series about what I have learned about TikTok ads. And I'm going to share all that with you so that you're also able to take advantage of TikTok ads while they're so young. So in this video, it's going to serve as my series opener and I'm basically just going to dive into my ads manager and share the specific results that I got my first week testing on TikTok. And then I'm going to be talking about why I think the platform is so powerful right now and also some of the cons that it currently has. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so here's what the TikTok ads manager looks like. As you can see, um, it's it's very little information honestly I, I definitely gotta block some of this out but um this is like the overview i guess of all my accounts but i i don't i don't really understand all the like account balances and stuff like that one thing i will say is i have not had to pay for any of my advertisements yet i've spent like at least a couple thousand dollars and they have yet to bill me like there's there's no section where you put in a credit card um, in the contract, it says you like wire chance for them the money. Um, and they gave each of my accounts like a hundred thousand dollar balance, I think. So I guess after I spend a hundred grand, I have to wire them a hundred grand. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that's going to work. I'll definitely update you guys on that. But um, yeah, so it's, it's honestly a great option if you have no money and you just want to take a hundred grand from TikTok, which you should not do. Anyway, let's just dive into the account that has spent the most money. All right, so this is your account level dashboard. As you can see, I have, about, I have only like two campaigns going right now. Um, one of those is a scaling campaign and one of those is for the same product. So I ended up testing um, about four products during this one week, but two of them I barely tested at all. Like I only ran one ad set, one creative, and then two of them like ended up kind of taking off. I've only actually scaled one of those um, just because it, it's tough for me. Like I, I don't really have the time right now and I'm just focusing on taking advantage of this one winner. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I spent three grand this week. I ended up averaging a 160 CPM, which is absolutely incredible if you compare that to Facebook CPMs. And my cost per purchase was 1053. Now, unfortunately there's no like ROAS control um, a row as like metric on TikTok yet, but I will tell you my break even is about like seventeen fifty for this product, and the average order value is like twenty three bucks. So I guess it's like a little bit over a two row as, which is definitely not awful, um, especially considering my break even is a one four eight, one point four eight, and um, yeah, this is the first week, so I definitely have a lot more testing to do. Um, and I'm pretty excited to see where this goes. So I'm just gonna refresh my screen really quickly here, um, just so you guys know that I ain't lying about this. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, there's a little bit more analytics as you scroll down. Um, and then this is one of the most interesting things that I've noticed with TikTok ads. It, it's a lot more about the times that you're targeting and um, you know the times that people buy from you because TikTok spends so, so aggressively. Like if you launch your ads at midnight, it's probably gonna spend all of your budget by like 2 a.m. It's like nothing I've ever used before. So I, th I think that experimenting with times is, it, it's already improving my, my results. And um, I'm pretty sure that's only going to continue. So I'll go ahead and hop into one of my campaigns here for you um, so you can kind of see what it looks like. I'm probably going to have to like blur a ton of this out. But um, yeah, so this one hasn't even spent money yet. But this one spent a little over three grand. Um, and yeah, this is definitely the most of my results. 294 purchases. 
Um, the other product that ended up working pretty well has like six purchases maybe, um, but it's spent like, I don't know, 30 or $40 if that. So I'll kind of hop into this campaign here for you. Um, they call them ad groups instead of ad sets, but it's basically the same thing. I'm just like, I don't know, it's, it's definitely very, very interesting to go from Facebook to this because it's like going from, I don't know, like um, New York City to like the Wild West. Like the, the contrast is just so, so evident. So as you can see, there's some ad sets that just kind of end up like taking off and just getting really, really good results. Like this one has 75 purchases, averaging $5.67 a purchase. I could probably never do that with Facebook. Uh, maybe a couple years ago, but um, that's very, very impressive in my opinion. And a lot of these started out like even better. Like I had some campaigns averaging like 80 cents a purchase for like one, two, three, four, five purchases. And obviously that kind of goes up a little bit. I'm not going to expect 80 cent purchases, but I think it, it would be a great low budget like platform because you can literally just get in and like, if you have a good ad and everything, because that's been huge, that's one of the biggest things I've learned so far. But if you have a good ad, then you can get some super, super cheap purchases. So I'll kind of take you into one of my ad sets to show you what it looks like, um, just so you can kind of get a better understanding of the platform. So basically this is just your placement. They actually own more companies than TikTok. I'm gonna have to blank like all this out. That's basically just like um, your URL, your pixel, which is very weird to set up. Um, and then like your business information and stuff like that. Ad tags are definitely pretty interesting. Um, I'll be going over that in the next couple of videos. Um, and then just like your audience and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you their incredibly limited interest selection if you would like me to. Um, so you got like yeah, it can't be more than like 20 interests. It's it's quite incredible. But one thing that I will say is I, I don't even do much interest so far. Um, I've found that either lookalike audiences or just no targeting works very, very well. However, if you did have like a very niche specific product, then um, I could see that not being an option. Um, so for the daily budget, I believe they require a minimum of $20 a day. Um, and yeah, that's really about it besides your bid, which is definitely new when you compare that to Facebook. So Facebook had like a optional bid. You could say like, I don't really want any like purchases that I have to pay $15 or more for. And they would be like, okay. And they wouldn't spend your money or at least that's how it was for me. But for TikTok, like, the bid um, seems to be a lot better, like, um, I don't know, performed, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, so that's also something that you have to do in order to run ads. One thing I also want to point out is TikTok bills you when you get clicks, which is awesome. Facebook bills you when they show your ad to people. So an impression, but I, I like clicks a lot more. I think that's how Snapchat does it as well. And um it's just great. It, it kind of helps you guarantee success at least a little bit more. All right, so I can't show you the ad for obvious reasons, but I do kind of want to say a couple of things about it. One of those being um, vertical videos are basically a necessity on TikTok. Uh, they do offer one by one ratios, but really just doesn't work that well, at least for me in the small amount that I've tested. And I found that like Instagram story ratios work a lot better, which kind of sucks for those of you that basically like take content off YouTube. Um, just because like when you crop videos like that, it screws up the resolution. So you kind of are forced to order the products yourself and record some videos. Uh, personally, what I do is just order them and then record on like Snapchat. That way it's vertical. Cause if you record it on like the normal iPhone camera, it's going to be like a four by five, I'm pretty sure. Another thing is that your ad copy is super, super limited. Like with Facebook, you get an unlimited amount of text that you can write. Granted, it's gonna say like click to show more, but that's not really a huge issue. With TikTok, they limit you to like eight words or something like that. So it's tough, honestly, to write a good ad copy and it's completely different 
than the ad copy on Facebook. All right, so the last thing that I wanna say is that I'm still learning the platform quite obviously. I mean, it hasn't even been a week now that I'm looking at it, but I see a ton of potential here. I've really only spent like, I guess my most was $820 a day. So not that much, but basically what I'm trying to do is just launch a ton of stuff and then cut back on what's not working and then just repeat that process until I'm left with a bunch of audiences, a bunch of creatives, a bunch of things that I know work and then I can like scale it to the next level. So I seriously think, although I definitely have no, um, no way of knowing this for sure, that TikTok is going to be extremely profitable for me at like the 10K a day mark. So that's kind of my goal to spend five figures a day on TikTok. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on like specific scaling strategies and just like talking about TikTok ads more in depth than anyone is right now. All right, so why do I think TikTok is so powerful? Number one, it's where like a solid three fourths of my subscribers are from, but I think TikTok is so powerful because it's so new and the algorithm works in a way that allows virtually anyone to go viral and build a following very, very quickly. The ads platform is so freaking new that the CPMs are incredibly low and it's just a very cheap way to get purchases. Plus, I don't think people are really used to seeing ads on TikTok because they're so new and for that reason, I think they perform a lot better. Also, I do have a sneaking suspicion that people have kind of gotten used to seeing dropshipping ads on Instagram and Facebook and maybe they purchased from one of those ads and for this reason, they don't purchase from any other ads on Instagram or Facebook due to having a bad experience. All right, so with all these pros, there's definitely some cons as well. The main one being it's super hard to even get the opportunity to advertise on TikTok. There's a whole application process that you have to go through and it, it, it's really tough, honestly, to get approved. Um, for me personally, it took like seven applications and like a period of three to four months where I was just like applying, applying, applying before I actually got approved. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about that process and how to increase your chances of getting approved. Another pretty large con with TikTok is that there's limited buying power because so much of the people on there are young. Now, this isn't necessarily a con just because you can reach more people for less money, so it kind of evens it out. But if you are selling more like high ticket products, or if the CPMs do end up increasing on TikTok, then I could definitely see this being something that prevents businesses from doing well on there. So another con of TikTok is just that the advertising platform isn't very mature, um, which is obviously good and bad, but there's a lot of bugs on it and there's a lot of very limited features. Like for example, if you look at the interest targeting, there's maybe like 20 if that, I don't even think there's 20 interests to target. If you go on Facebook, there's like 200,000 or I don't, I don't know the exact number, but it's a ton and it's laughable when you compare TikTok's interests to Facebook's interests. Another con with TikTok's advertising platform is that you basically only get to target the United States and Australia. There's also a ton of other like very minor countries like the United Arab Emirates or like Japan or India but I don't really know why you'll want to target those countries. And if you are sticking to the big English speaking countries, then your options are definitely pretty limited. Another con that I've noticed with TikTok is that there's a pretty decent amount of bugs and glitches. Now, obviously this is probably going to get fixed in the next couple of months once they start you know, bringing it to the public whenever that's going to be. But I did feel that this was worth mentioning just because I've had some pretty major headaches over the past week. And this is even something that I'm spending like thousands of dollars a day on, at least at this current point. So I, I have a feeling that the bugs are only gonna get better, but I also have a feeling that before they do, I'm gonna have way more headaches. All right, so the last con that's also a pro with TikTok is that it's basically uncharted territory. Like if you go on YouTube and look up TikTok ads tutorial, you're gonna find very few videos, probably no courses and just very little instruction from people that actually know what they're doing. Now, this is where I see a market for me and that's what I'm going to try to exploit 
as I just aggressively start scaling and learning more about TikTok. But I did feel that it was worth mentioning because for me, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to TikTok. I, I especially been a week ago and when I was trying to find information, it was very, very tough. So if you do have a little bit of money to like play around with and test and see what works, then it puts you in a very good position. But if you don't, then it's just tough for you to do well with TikTok ads. All right, so in conclusion, if you are sleeping on TikTok ads, then don't. If you already have a store going, then just go out and apply um, or wait for my next video when I teach you how to apply. But honestly, just, just go apply right now because you can always apply again. But I definitely would recommend that if you don't have a store, either make one to use TikTok ads or still apply or what I would personally do if I had low capital is basically start up themed TikTok accounts. Like for example, you could start up a TikTok account with like funny videos or something like that. If you grow it to a significant point, which is actually not that hard to do right now, then you can either start monetizing that page by promoting products on it, or you can sell the page for a pretty large amount. And I have a feeling that the people building large TikTok pages right now are going to be in a great position in a couple of years when it's a lot more difficult to get traction on TikTok and followers are valued a lot more. All right guys, so I would definitely recommend that you keep an eye out for my next video. If you appreciate or you're interested in all the content on TikTok, then I have good news for you because more is coming. But if you don't like it, then that kind of sucks because the next couple of videos are most likely just going to be dedicated to TikTok. I see a huge opportunity here, so I'm going to exploit it and I would definitely recommend that you do as well. As always, this has been Mark Wagner. All value, no bull****. I'm out.